Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations, on the Luigi Van 64D. Alright, so, uh, this is the first episode I've been able to record since I lost my desktop computer. Uh, surprisingly my laptop is able to run it kind of really well, so I decided I'll just do it and go through and see what happens. It'll be fun, all kinds of things will happen, and it'll be awesome. Hopefully. Potentially. So now... Phoenix Wright. And it'll tell us what happened, thankfully. You know, I'm glad we found the urn and all. But poor Mr. Delight got arrested again. Well, supposedly Mr. Delight was in the CEO's office when the murder occurred. No way, Jose! I don't buy it! But the one who proved that Mr. Delight was there... It was Mr. Nick himself. At least from what I can understand. Looks like you did too good of a job this time, Nick. Uh, <laughs> well, how about we get started looking into the KB security murder? I think I'm going to head back to Korean Village for a little while, if that's alright. Sure, but why? I'm going to bring the Sacred Urn back to have some people take a look at it. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll go with... No, Mystic Maya, you should stay here. Why don't you two to spend some quality time together? Full of love and happiness. Maybe Pearls is so caught up in her fantasy she forgot there's a murder to solve. Well, either way, here you go. Now remember, no fighting, okay? <laughs> Off she goes. Eh, yeah, she's gone. Okay, Nick, time to get going on this murder investigation. Alright. Let's go talk. First off, what do I do? So, what do we do now? Isn't it obvious? We should get out there and investigate the murder. Well, first, we need to find out exactly where KB Security is located. Hey! Why don't we ask Miss Delight? She should know. Besides, I want to ask her some stuff about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You're not thinking of getting one, are you? I'm not the same little Maya who used, who used to be happy with her dinky little bike, Nikki boy. Oh, she's calling me that too now. Speaking of asking around, I got a few questions of my own for Mr. Delight. Okay, well let's make sure to go to the detention center too. What about that sacred urn? You must be relieved we got the Sacred Urn back, huh? You bet! But there's something a little different about it. Oh? Don't oh me at me! It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I mean, take a look at this! It clearly says I am on the t on the urn in the poster. But the urn we got back says Ami like it used to. Oh yeah, you're right. Plus, the vase is now has pink splotches on it now. I'm sure they weren't there before. Maya doesn't know, but one year ago, when the urn was broken, the repairer accidentally turned Mystic Ami's name into I Am. And that repairer was one mechanically unskilled Little Pearls. But still, I don't remember ever seeing these pink splotches on it. Is it possible the urn is a fake? I'm sure Pearls will find out one about that once she gets back to the Korean village. Yeah, I suppose. Now that I think about it, Maya hasn't been back to Korean Village in a long time. Let's talk about that. So, I guess people still go to Korean Village to do the training, right? Yep, if you want to become a spear medium, you need to undergo severe training. So why haven't you been training lately, Maya? Well, lately I've been thinking of heading to a channeling dojo to do just that. A channeling dojo? Huh, that's pretty serious, whatever it is. If you're going to train, you have to be serious, otherwise real tragedies can happen. Is what happened last year still bothering you? <sighs> that murder in her village. It happened because the power of channeling was misused. When a medium uses the, the Korean technique, she temporarily loses her own will. So when an especially strong spirit is summoned, the spirit medium can get taken over and even forced to commit terrible crimes. What's worse, in those cases, the spirit medium has no memory of what happened. That murder. It wasn't your fault, Maya. You know that, don't you? I suppose not, but... I guess I'm still a bit shaken up, that's all. It sounds like being the Master of Crane is going to be a heavy responsibility. Well, at the very least, let's get going. Uh... We should head to the hideout. Let's go stop in and miss the light. 
I'm Nicky Boy, Maya! Mr. Light. All I wanted to do was help my dear Ronnie. Yeah, but I guess that ended up hurting his case. Don't say that, Nick. She doesn't need any help beating herself up. Hey, Nicky Boy, please, please help Ronnie. He's not a killer, I swear. My Ronnie wouldn't kill her to fly. Alright, I'll poke around and see what I can find out. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so happy. I knew asking for your help was the right thing to do. I, I don't know what I can do to help anymore. I had no idea Miss Delight has such a vulnerable side. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed after seeing, seeing her yesterday. And even earlier today. Well, let's talk about Ron Delight. Listen carefully, Nicky boy. My Ronnie would never, ever kill anyone. It's just not in him. It's just not in him. I don't think he would either, Nick. Yeah, but you have to admit, he's got a bit of a temper of him. It's not that hard to imagine him snapping and screaming, Please die! He would never say that! Anyway, Mr. Light, he might not be a killer, but he's still going around saying he's a thief. I already told you. That's just a fantasy for him. Mr. Light, I hate to say it, but you're the one living in a fantasy world. W what? How dare you say that to me, Nicky boy? I know everything about my Ronnie. We don't have any secrets between us. Ronnie isn't the thief type. He's so honest that he wouldn't even speak in the sneak and nap. He's he's so honest that he wouldn't even steal a glance. Thief. <laughs> the very idea. Uh, I guess I just don't get it. Huh? Get what? I just can't understand how they can be so different and yet be such a happy couple. Yeah, they sure are different. Come on now, Nicky boy. It's not that mysterious, is it? It was love at first sight. For me, anyway. What? F for you? Really? Well, now I'm curious. Alright, let's go to Detective at me. Let's talk about him. I hate these kind of people more than anything. Uh, you mean Ace Detectives? No, I'm fine with Ace Detectives. Oh, so then you must mean thieves. No, they're alright, too. I just hate thieves that pretend to be Ace Detectives. There's nothing I hate more than cowardly men. By the way, why did you go to Detective Abney's office anyway? Well, as the trial went on, I started to get more and more nervous. I went there to try and find out more about the real criminal. The real criminal? Yes, obviously the real Master Mask is not my Ronnie, right? Y yeah And Detective Abney knew more about Master Mask than anyone else. They mentioned him on the Great People of the Town segment of TV. So then, you went there to ask him some questions? That's right. I'll do whatever it takes to save my man. The secretary said, the ace detective isn't in right now. But I forced my way past her and, and into his hideout. I wouldn't exactly call that office his hideout. Oh, I wouldn't call that office of his a hideout. Okay, never mind. That bag was sitting right there on top of the table. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we saw that back there yesterday, too. There's nothing lower than someone who would try to pin a crime on someone else. Yes, you got that right. Now, what's this about KU Security? Mr. Light, do you know about KU Security? Don't be silly, of course I do. That's why my Ronnie works. So she thinks he still works there, huh? Oh, that's right. According to what we heard today. Come on. Don't tell me you don't know it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. But he quit. He doesn't work there anymore. Looks like Miss Delight doesn't know. KB Security is only about 20 minutes away. By motorcycle, that is. Larry told me it takes 30 minutes by car. Well, I have to admit, I tend to fly by pretty fast on my bike. To make it to KB Security that fast, are you sure you aren't literally flying? Why don't I give you a ride some time? Or better yet, how about now? Uh, uh, n n no, uh, I'll pass, thanks! W why don't you just tell us where it is and we'll go ourselves? <laughs> what a scary cat you are, Nick. Mr. Light told us the location of the cave security. Alright, let's head over there right away, Nick. Oh, yes, but first. How about this. Uh, so was it really love at first sight when you first met Delight? Mr. Delight? Well, maybe not at first sight, but Ronnie saved my life. Saved your life? I was at work one day when two robbers suddenly rushed in. Well, I'm not the kind to just curl into a little ball in the corner, so I fought back. Robbers? Yeah, they took me hostage. So I was so frightened. They were both carrying the huge knives, and 
I broke down into tears. Yeah, I would too if I were there in that situation. Oh, I think I get it. Mr. Delight came running to save you? Yes, exactly! I remember he looked so handsome in that guard uniform of his. He went right up to those two wheeling robbers and screamed in their faces! Please stop it! He screamed. I could see the robber's face turn pale. The hyper shriek of his would do a surprisingly strong effect on people. Then crying and swinging his arms like crazy, he attacked the two robbers. All by himself. He came to save me. A total stranger. All by himself. I mean, he was so scared that he was crying and shaking, but he still risked his life for me. Wow. It's a great story. Yes. He may not look it, but in a tough situation, there's no one better. That's why I fell in love with him like I did. <laughs> That's so romantic. I'd fall in love too, I guess. Nick, I hope you'll do the same for me if I ever get taken hostage. With Maya, that possibility always seems to loom in the not-so-distant future. Well, let's please hope we don't get you kid. Let's let's hope you don't get kidnapped again soon. For right now, I gotta check by at me. Hmm. I wonder if he's still arrested. Wow, this place is literally crawling with cops. What did you expect? Now that they know he was actually Master Mask. This must be incredibly embarrassing for them, don't you think? Yeah, I guess they're trying to make up for it by tearing this place apart. Hey, I was noticed. Gumshoe's nowhere to be seen. Well, he is a homicide detective. He's probably is working on their murder case. But wasn't he in charge of the Master Mask investigation all the way up to yesterday? Well, a murder case is a lot more exciting, isn't it? He'd say something like, There's nothing, there's nothing a good murder case, bro. Points for the quality for the impression. But I'm not sure Gumshoe is bl has bloodlust, Maya. Pretty sure he wouldn't say that. Alright, well, there's nothing here from the looks of it. So I guess I'll just, uh... Go. Let's head to the exhibition before we check out other places. The treasures of Korean exhibit is all ruined now. Maya. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. This is our big chance for everyone to learn in spirit channeling. Maybe I can cheer her up somehow. Well, now that we've got the sacred urn back, maybe we can reopen it? Really? Sure! Maybe we can label it the Urn of Master Mask's Desires. That would probably attract a lot of attention. Whoa! 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 That's brilliant, Nick! We can clean up and it'll be and be filthy rich! Woohoo! Wow. That was surprisingly easy. Huh. I respect that. Uh before we go back, let's go to the warehouse. We should probably tell her that the urn's okay. Oh, it's you, Mr. Wright! Miss Andrews. What's she still hanging around down here for? Uh, so, how is it going? What about the sacred urn? The urn? Oh, that. It's been taken care of already. What do you mean, oh, that? Taken care of? You do mean it's been found? Yes. <laughs> it was brought in today, during the trial today. Wow, really? You really are the greatest, Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright had nothing to do with it. It was Master Mask's wife that found it. Well, anyway, I'm... I'm so relieved. I love how we just call him Master Mask. And she's like, oh, okay. That's okay, I'm cool with that. So... I just heard all about it in the news. So that detective was actually a thief all along. It looks like the way... It looks that way right now. It's my fault. I'm the one who ended up hiring Master Mask. The Damask to guard the treasures. Don't blame yourself. You were just doing your job. Hey, Nick, if she wants to apologize, you should let her. What? So, what was it that you hired? When was it that you had Detective at me again? Why am I not allowed to give an, be given a break here? About 20 days ago. And when it was... And when was it that Master Mask calling card arrived? That was about 10 days ago. So he sent the calling card to the very place he was hired to guard. I guess that's it, then. Detective Emmy must have really won the Sacred Urn after all. I guess so. But I don't know why the Sacred Urn. What? So this Master Mask murdered someone as well? Well, that's how things look right now. Yes, but I, I thought that he was here stealing the urn at the time. Well, we're talking about a criminal mastermind, so anything's been possible. 
Things have happened. In the first game, there were two murders at the same time. It's... <sighs> Forget it. Nick, let's get down to the business already. On the night of the theft, did you notice anything suspicious about Detective Atme? No, I, I couldn't have. After all, he was hidden the entire time. I never even caught a glimpse of him. He claims that the way he... That's the way he always operates. That's just what he says so he can have an alibi while he commits the theft himself. Yeah, he was caught on the crime scene photo dressed up as Master Mask pretty well. And about the Sacred Urn. I'm so glad that you got a Sacred Urn back. Yes, but there's still something that bothers me about it. What, what is it? I'm not exactly sure, but somehow the urn came back seems different. R really? You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Miss Andrews? No, no I, I don't know anything. Why, why would I? Why would I? What? The? A psyche lock. What do you think of this means, Nick? It means the person that holds the secret to the mystery of the sacred urn is our very own Miss Andrews. Uh, I don't think I have any clues to to break through them right now. That pathetic looking wooden box. <laughs> That's the box that had the sacred urn in it. Don't touch it. There may be clues to the thief's identity on it. Uh, so hard to make the box. Huh? You made that poor excuse of a box, Maya? What's that supposed to mean? And I, I was so proud of it. Poor Maya. Maybe it'd have been better if Mr. Mask was taking the box too. I honestly want that in my inventory. It looks like it looks important. This paint. Looks to me like it's been dry for several days. This paint. There's something suspicious about the paint mark. The bottom left part of it is shaped oddly and it's shockingly pink. I don't see how the color of the paint is any in any way important. That's true. Well, since we don't have anything else to talk to her about, let's go to KB Security. And then stop into Mr. Delight. Oh, look at all the stuff here. Huh. So I guess this is where it all went down, huh? The walls in here look thick, just like you expect of a CEO's office. What does that got to do with anything? Hey! It's you guys! Oh, it's Detective Gumshoe! Today was a real train wreck for you guys, huh? Sure was, pal! Prosecutor made real fools out of us! Yeah, I feel for you. Wow, that's not like you at all. I thought you'd be more like... Oh, that was great! You guys got what you deserved, pal! Or <laughs> something like that effect. D do I really sound like that to you, pal? If the gumshoe fits! Anyway, the point is, I can tell when someone puts a heart into their jobs. I can sympathize when things don't go your way. Sometimes I feel like wrong is the only way go things go for us detectives. Wow, I had no idea Detective Gumshoe was such a nice guy. Now that this little love fest is over, maybe we can start investigating? Please? So, what happened? Detective Gumshoe, tell us what you know about the murder. Uh, okay. The thing is, I'm really not supposed to. Hey, come on. What about our... What about how we put our hearts into our work? He's really working against us right now, and we need help. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't stop crying on you, okay, pal? Okay, I won't cry on you, pal. The victim's name is Kane Bullard. He was the CEO of KB Security, and a pretty big fella of his own right. His corpse was discovered at 9 this morning. His estimated time of death was 1 in the morning, on October 12th. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head, probably an object in this room. It happened at exactly the same time Master Master was stealing the urn, huh? Okay, well at least we have the autopsy report. So why did it take almost an entire day to discover the body? There's a good explanation for that one. Well, his body was stashed away inside the safe. What, safe? Well, it is pretty big. Nobody had heard from him, and when they opened the safe this morning, out he came. So, okay, so the body fell out? The white string must be the shape must be the shape for when he fell out. I think we still need some more information about Mr. Bullard. Maybe you can start by getting the man's name right. Ballard. So, um, what happened to Master Mask? 
He's at the detention center, screaming like a madman. Investigate me again! He keeps yelling. Oh, no, 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 I, di I didn't mean him. He's the—he's not the real thief anyway, right? Oh, you mean that Detective Atman guy? <laughs> oh, that was great! That guy what he deserved! <laughs> now that's a detective I know and love! Think about it. I mean, it was always around when the calling card showed up. But he always mysteriously disappeared when the he when the heist took place. I was hiding at the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the lamest thing I've ever heard. That's how you just knew he was a thief. That would explain how he was able to retrieve the stolen items he kept bragging about. Yeah, he did just that to make himself lo look like a great detective. That's all. But there's this one thing I can't figure out about his first heist. His first heist? Yeah, the Tear of Eminon case. There was a witness on that one. A witness? Here, I saved the newspaper clipping. This thief is already under arrest. You guys can keep it. Alright. Hey, this guard here. Haven't I seen him somewhere before? It's pretty small, so it's kind of hard to see, but... How she mentions it? Oh, it can't be. It has to be. So, anyway, what... We've been experiencing so many prosecutors. What about this one? Ooh, a prosecutor! I really don't like that guy. We used our own evidence to do that to Mr. Delight. Yeah, I think he did that just way just because he knew it hurt more. That's my what my gut tells me anyway. So, so who is this Java ad addicted masked maniac anyway? Bus Prosecutor Gato? It's quite the enigma, huh? Thing is, pal, I never even heard of this guy before. He just showed up one day in the prosecutor's office. Came out of nowhere. That's right. He said this was his first case as a prosecutor. That's true, according to the records anyway. But no way he's an amateur. He's an ice man in the court. A maverick that gives, that gives me goosebumps. Goosebumps? You? Yeah, I knew something was off about him, so I asked around. Nobody would talk to me. They all just turned the other way. Poor Detective Gumshoe. I had no idea you was all unpopular. Uh, no, that, that's not what I meant. The cadeau guy acts like he knows me and has a grudge against me. I get the feeling he's hidden. He's hiding some kind of dark secret. I don't know why. Anyway, let's examine the room around. Obviously, this big book. Check out this big, thick binder here. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick. Reading a file isn't exactly backbreaking work. Just a little hard in the eyes. Ah! What did you find out, Nick? This file. It's not any sort of security operations or anything. This file is all about Master Mask. Filled with info on him. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and his crime scenes. Oh, hey Nick. Look at the last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier of Eminon, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Master Mask has stolen. So then, $100,000 is the value of the stolen item? I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. There we go. Don't mind. What? It's important evidence. Let's look at this desk. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out, just for a second. Oh, nice. Feels like, I feel like just see, just like a CEO. Hey, you. Whip me up a couple of some really expensive import tea and some scones. Move it. Ah, uh, this is the life. Uh, the victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. <laughs> you really should think more, Maya. Wow, look at that huge frame photo. Tall mountains rising majestically against the dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written on the bottom of this photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? This is best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough, or he really had rotten luck with the, with the weather. Maybe if he had lived a little longer, he would have seen some better days. Wow. Dark humor. How it feels right. Ooh, button, I want to press it! Oh, there's a button here. Let's see. Oh. Hey, cut it out! Don't press that! <laughs> that was pretty funny. I <laughs> a new detective goes you could jump like that. <laughs> What's that button anyway? It's an emergency buzzer! It says you're right here on the panel! Oops, you're right. It's written right there. 
Nick, how many times have I told you to read the instructions first? This alarm is connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up there. Really? Then it's possible that the night of the crime? Oh! So when the CEO was attacked! Do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there. But they said that the buzzer was never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Huh, I think we'd better go and talk to that guard about this security the emergency buzzer. This will probably be important. And I know exactly who to ask. Let's go with the safe. Ew, think about it. The dead guy was laying here all night. Yeah. Oh, by the way, don't bother asking about fingerprints. There were none. Well, somebody opened the safe on the night of the crime, right? Yeah, and so? And if Mr. Bullard's body was hidden in here, it must mean that it was opened by either the killer or the victim. Right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? Uh, okay. Shoot. Opening this baby is no piece of cake. There are only a few people who know how to open the safe, pal. Y yeah, and? Everyone that knows how to open the safe is airtight alibis. I checked. Everyone except one, and that is... I'm almost afraid to ask. Former security chief, Ron Delight. <laughs> what? Ron Delight? He was a security chief? Ron? So he knew how to open the safe, huh? Yeah, sorry for raining on your parade there, pal. And... This rope. You think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? I don't think so. So you mean... Yeah, I think the string shows where and how the corpse was lying. Y yeah, y y you mean... The victim. He was killed by being crushed by the safe door? She can't be serious. I don't want to think about that. What's in here? This looks like some kind of bookshelves or rolling cabinet hybrid. Yeah, I can't get between these two shelves. Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at a time, huh? Looks like they're filled with a bunch of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs that they were hired to handle. Maybe a good night's reading. If you've got insomnia. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting, like UFOs or something. I doubt we're gonna find that here. What was this? Oh, no need for more. Nope. Yep, don't, don't sit there. Alright, so now what I've gotta do is talk to you more. I really gotta talk to you more about something else. Something else that I feel I should talk to you about. Uh. First is a newspaper clipping. Uh, what do you know about it? This is the first heist, and I guess the un I underestimated him. I was I was sure I was going to get him, but I was so careless and lost the info on the witness. By witness, do you mean the guard in this photo? Yeah, he and the detective worked together to try to, to catch him master mask. But he got away anyway, huh? That guard. I got the weird feeling that I've seen him around lately. I wonder. And I want to check this. This is proof that Rundelight was here at the crime scene when the murder occurred. His wallet and his car key, huh? I think we need to ask Mr. Delight about something. Mr. Delight about these two things. We really should. Uh, before I go in the security room, I'm gonna end this episode off here. This is Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations, and I'll see you next time.